What is the similarity between any exercise you do to move into more abundance, to move into a place of freedom, to make changes, even if it means making career changes, you write up your CV, you clear it up. What is the recurrent theme here? Clarity, decluttering, space healing, inner outer healing of your space. What is the difference between spiritual awakening and you coming into a state of absolute abundance and I don't mean just material abundance because for you to be truly abundant you're truly abundant in a very holistic way so you can't be that you're very materially abundant but your health is at risk your relationships are not working you know or you're unable to do certain things or you're just at a discord in your life as it is and the way it presents itself to you so spiritual awakening and you moving into a state of constant flow and fully abundance Fully trusting in providence has a few things in common. First, a spiritual awakening and an abundance mindset go hand in hand. One cannot be without the other. One thing that you will notice, and I'm not talking about the richest people in the world or the people who've got the biggest material abundance in the world. But one thing, those people or those of us who start to unravel ourselves as we unwrap ourselves in a spiritual awakening ultimately you're headed to ground zero ultimately there's nothing you're going to find and literally it is the nothingness that you're going to find you're going to find a void you're going to find the big black hole of possibility and in order for you to move into your abundance mindset or for you to be in that state of free flow, we have to make space. First, you've got to remove what's not working for you. Now, if you were to go and update your CV for a career or if you were looking at a potential marriage partner or just a partner, you want to you know, you're looking for new love in your life, you're going to, first of all, be sure that you have completely cleared and you're not carrying with you any baggage from the past. Because what you don't want is the past to repeat itself. Now, without us clearing that and clearing the baggage, whatever new comes in is just going to be a repetition. Now, the thing is, the past is something that has already happened and it keeps repeating itself because either we have a desire to undo the past or redo the past in a different way or it is what is most familiar and that which we feel at ease with, although it might end up feeling very uncomfortable to us because it isn't really the cutting edge of where we need to be but we will still be there. Now your spiritual awakening, essentially, what is it? You are moving from the concept to a place of no concept. As you do this, what happens? Your memory bank gets cleared. You start to declutter your inner space. And which is why so many of you, the one thing that you will notice with the spiritual awakening, that as soon as your shift happens in consciousness, there will be an impact on your abundance. There will be an impact on the flow of your life. There will be an impact of what is coming in, what is on its way out, what has left. Yeah, so one will be you deliberately clearing something. One will be people either going. One will be, there will be so many different things. There will be a different forms of abundance. Now, I don't know. There's a picture that just happens to be here today, which I don't know what for, but I'm, I'm just going to bring, give it, show it to you for illustrative purposes. Now, this is a picture of what they call Ashta Lakshmi. And then they've got Narayan here in the middle. Eight different types of Lakshmi. Now, the eight different types of Lakshmi is here you'll see. 
they're all different one is saying veera lakshmi gaja lakshmi sanat santana lakshmi dhanya lakshmi and a lot of us generally we will consider lakshmi to just be dhanya lakshmi which is only giving money ashwarya lakshmi is to give you the comforts adi lakshmi vijaya lakshmi veera lakshmi the warrior lakshmi the one that gives you um freedom the one that gives you the the win your triumphant and ultimately your triumphant over our inner demons so this is just to say that there isn't abundance is an all encompassing phenomena spiritual awakening literally brings in that flow of abundance because you cannot be spiritually awake or awakening and not experiencing the inflow of abundance and the abundance around you including you as a source of abundance to yourself and to those around you in so many ways in so many ways your very being is a source of abundance to the universe to everyone around you you are a source of abundance you emanate abundance when you are spiritually awake with spiritual awakening yes you know i i i hear this a lot how am i going to pay my bills but we've got to do this and when it comes to career changes and some of us will feel well this particular career doesn't serve me anymore so i want to go into something else and what else i want to go in i don't know whether it's going to give me the security and but none of that matters because all of that are almost you trying to control the source of income including the source of abundance when we become too picky and choosy in what package we want our abundance to come in it's okay to be picky and choosy it's okay to be picky and choosy but be clear on why you're being in that way so why is it that that is what you want and be sure that that is what you really really want and as long as you're in alignment and you will be because as you spiritually awaken you then come into an alignment with your highest self now some of you may have heard of these four principles of or the four laws in vedic culture so you'll hear things like dharma artha kama and moksha the four principles of life so these are the four things that we want or or that happen together and ultimately you will have all four and all four include your desire they include material abundance they include dharma the path of righteousness they include service to others they include as well your freedom your ultimate realization of what we are now when we come into that ultimate realization you see at every stage of your spiritual awakening you will be having various realizations when you're letting go of stuff now every time so imagine like you 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 get to the cliff and suddenly you get really really frightened and it's at this stage where you may have another realization that ah actually there is no danger in me getting off this cliff because i know i can make it i can make it i will fly i will soar i am not going to hurt to myself so at every point you'll find that and then you'll find a treasure pot at the end of every realization and you'll feel ah oh, i've arrived i've arrived and then there'll be something else something else remember abundance is infinite as are you as is is abundance now it unfolds it 
unfolds. As you are ascending on one level, you're emptying. And as you are emptying, what are you doing? You're creating more space. So the minute you think, ah, I know. Then later you're caught with, oh, but I don't know. And now that I don't know is going to motivate you or you're going to then want to know. And more realizations come. The more you keep releasing through your spiritual awakening, your beliefs. First of all, to release beliefs, we need to know what our beliefs are. Most of us don't know, at least consciously, we don't. Unconsciously, they're there. So if your life at the moment doesn't feel like it's quite in alignment, but it's, it's you know, it's not quite with what you imagine it to be. First of all, identify what do you imagine your life to be and why isn't it in that way? Even now, when we go through the spiritual awakening, one of the things that we'll say, as, especially for advanced practitioners, is I've cleared my blocks. I know I don't have a block here. I don't feel blocked you know, I feel like I've done a lot of work here, so I, I but I still don't understand why things aren't quite working out the way that I envisaged them to work out. And it's because there is still no alignment. And that no alignment comes in because of what is unconscious in us that we are still not aware of. And so that is why we say we are still awakening and we're still going through that process, which is infinite. It is absolutely infinite. It can, you know, there's no linear time that we can attach to how long this is going to take, but it's going to take as long as it takes. At every point, when we feel we're not in alignment, we are not stuck. That feeling of I've already done my work is in itself can in itself become a hindrance, a block. When we say things like, you know, but I want my own tribe, I want people like me, I want people who are vibing, you know, on the same level. But at the same time, you might feel, well, you know, it's really hard to find people like me. You know, there, there are very few people like me. And there you go, you know, so you're, creating a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy where you're not going to get past this because there are conflicts. So have a look at what is your idea? What is your abundance? And why are you not feeling that abundance? And you link it up to your spiritual awakening and you'll find that with your spiritual awakening, Every time, every time there is any discord, any dissonance with any aspect of yourself, you will be aware because your awareness is going to be your biggest ally to be able to read your energy and to read your energy around abundance. Now that interesting thing when you are on a path of spiritual awakening is in actually you don't need any tools you don't need any exercises you don't need to do anything you don't need to imagine you don't need to visualize you don't need to do any of those things for you to attract abundance because by virtue of your awakening you're already letting go of fear you're letting go of limiting belief systems you're letting go of everything that holds you back from being the most authentic version of whatever you are in essence wherever you are because remember the most authentic version of ourselves is going to keep changing with every realization but what doesn't change obviously which we know about is our absolute essence which is the essence that we want to get to or to operate from pure consciousness so you're going to be operating from 
different dimensional awareness of that pure consciousness right so that pure consciousness translated into various different dimensions is going to feel like something different depending on your perception so to get to the purest point which is to get to the ground zero when you are in a place of there is just pure potential there is no need for anything there is no dependence on anything this is when you come into your absolute state of flow so your life is an absolute state of flow and it's absolutely abundant there will be nothing for you to do you know whatever it is in the circumstances things will just seem to fall into place they things will just seem to flow right and it's not about money or it's not about how much you know we have materially but it is just everything 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 working for us in alignment with what you have carved out as your abundance you see what i feel as my best case scenario in abundance is going to be different from you is going to be different from the other person we're all going to have our different it's not even a purpose but we can say this time around this is what i wanted to experience and this is going to be my vehicle of transformation and this is how i want to experience it and therefore this is the kind of abundance i want to experience and for me to be able to live out what i want out of this so if for me if it is being a spiritual teacher and by my vehicle as a spiritual teacher means that i can carry on tapping into more and more wisdom because that 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 is being abundant and for that i want to be able to have a lot of time on my own i want my solitude i want my isolation i want to be able to have that kind of freedom so for me that would be my abundance right not to be tied down to anything just to sort of have this free flow now everybody will have their own concept and now for us or for me to get to this if it means having a you know a money tree in my back garden it might mean that it might mean so many different things of how that situation comes into existence so as you carry on with your process you will find that things just want to come to you automatically depending on where you are remember it is a process Folks please stay tuned in for the next part lots of love